hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel what's up so I'm going to be showing you guys how I get jumbo box sprays this is a really simple tutorial but a lot of you requested it so we're just gonna go ahead and show you the process my assistant does them my assistant Kristen that's Kristen back there and uh, she washed and blow dried my hair for me so we're gonna go ahead and get started Motown trim. <laughs> Motown dress, jumbo braid. How many packs are you using? Uh, about ten. Ten packs of hair. Let's see if we use all of them. We'll see if we use all of them. Cream of nature. <laughs> A little funky brush. And an even smaller funky brush for the edges. My fancy comb. And that's pretty much it. We're just gonna get started. <laughs> Okay, so next we're going to part our hair. So basically she's gonna use triangle parting, which I think is super, super cute. You can do box parting too, but triangles is, is cuter to me. The design is better. So basically she's just taking that edge control and putting it all around the base of the part. And then she's brushing that in to kind of like make sure that my hair is completely covered with the edge control. This is gonna help the braid hold better. And then she's going to rubber band it. So we're using the rubber band method to do these braids. Every single part will be rubber banded before we put the hair on it. This helps to relieve some of the tension from your natural hair. So this is what all of the parts look like after she's parted my whole head and rubber banded each piece. Now from here, I could have went ahead and braided the rest of it up myself. I could have done it myself, but I decided not to because <laughs> you guys know I'm lazy. So she went ahead and parted the whole thing. I really like the triangle parting. I think the triangle parting is really, really cute. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And then after that, she's just gonna go through and braid the hair with the um, Kanakalon hair. Ooh. Hey. All right, so now she's combing through my hair and she's just going to apply the Kanakalon. Um, you just take a section, I believe she split each bag of hair into threes, either in half or into threes, and use that much hair for each braid. It depends on how big you want them to be. Kind of eyeball it and see. You can always take it down if you don't like how big or small it is and add more hair, remove, more, remove some of the hair if you don't want it to be that big. Kind of experiment with it. And then as she's braiding down, what you're gonna do is continue to use the edge control to keep the hair from popping out of the braid. If your hair is blunt cut like mine is, it is gonna have a hard time kind of staying inside of the braid. So just be mindful of that and use edge control as needed. And once you start getting to the length of the braid and it gets long enough, you can stop wherever you please. I wanted mine to go all the way down. I wanted mine to be as long as possible. So I told her to keep braiding until <laughs> you can't braid no more. And then um, leave a little bit of ends. If you're going to be curling the ends, you can leave a good amount. Um, but if you're not going to be curling ends, you're just going to cut it. So this is after all of the braids are finished and we did about 20 of them, I think. She's just brushing my edges with the edge control. I actually have a different process for how I brush my own edges because I do use uh, gel with mine because I don't like the way this cream of nature edge control works for me personally. It doesn't really hold it well, but that's just me. So once we finish all of the braids, then we're gonna go back and fix the ends. So from here we just flexi rod at the ends and if you don't know how to use a flexi rod you may want to watch a different tutorial if you don't know how to wrap a flexi rod this is, this is the wrong tutorial for you <laughs> okay i don't know how to wrap a flexi rod so so yeah this is what the hair looks like after i flexi rotted all of it and then we're going to boil some water get some really really hot water you can also stick a mug in the in the microwave if you have a microwave i don't have one so we're just going to use some boiling hot water and we're going to dip the ends in the boiling hot water and let that sit for a couple seconds and then you're going to allow the hair to dry while it's still flexi rotted once all the hair is dry then you can take the flexi rods off and then you will have some cute little curly coily ends now you can do whatever you want to your own ends obviously you don't have to do the little flexi rod method um but i wanted to have a different approach last time i did this style i just cut the ends off blunt and left it like that um we, i just boiled the ends from there but i feel like i don't know maybe i don't know i feel like the curly cues were kind of cute too so hmm. 
guess it just depends on personal preference. And this is what the ends look like once it's finished. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure your hair is dry and everything. But yeah, that's all for this tutorial, guys. I told you it's super, super easy. Um, obviously, if you know how to braid, if you don't know how to braid, then you might be out of luck on this one. But honestly, anybody could do this style. I'm telling you, it's really, really simple. And so yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, that's it for this video. And that is it for Hair Week. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my random hair tutorials. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.